Hey everyone, Jason here in another, in another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get um, old data, uh, data off, a, off a dead hard drive using this device we have right here. It's a Vantech Nexstar CX. Uh, model number is TSN300S2BK. It is a SATA hard drive to USB 2.0 uh, hard drive enclosure. With, like I said, the 2.0 the interface. This is this particular model is a for a 3.5 inch hard drive, and I'll show you this. Uh, what we'll do to start with the video, I want to show you the box first. I'll show you what it comes with, and then we'll show you how to put everything together, um, like so. All right, so obviously we we'll look at the box first. It is a nice picture of the device on the front with a so with some like minimal detail, um, you know, short description of the uh, what this what this unit does and what the features of it on the front. On the back here, like so, it has uh, some more some more specs of, of the product. It has you know um, some features, um, what what comes inside the box and whatnot, kind of the story behind it, how you're going to use it, um, the specs of it. Like I said, and another be another another uh, picture. So very nice detailed box as we see here, very appealing I think, and um, very detailed. It shows you how to use the product. All right, uh, before we get on further, I do want to. Tell you guys a little bit about the features of what what kind of operating system just deals with and whatnot. Some of the features that this unit um, has it is it features an aluminum aluminum casing um, that cools down your hard drive when it's inside. Here's the actual unit right here. Um, the middle portion is aluminum and the sides are plastic. Um, so that that's the cooling element of it. Very interesting. Very nice there. And transfer speed on this unit is three is 480 megabytes per second with a with the USB 2.0 interface, I know USB 3.0 is kind of a hot thing right now, and that's what a lot of people kind of recommend. I actually do recommend it myself, although for this particular hard drive that I'm using, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I think it'll be fine with the 2.0 interface. I've tested this actually once before, and it was it worked perfectly. Just just about about a five or so second lag or so, not too bad. Basically, another another feature this this unit is easily easily transferable. Let's say you have multiple hard drives, multiple 3.5 inch hard drives. Um, you can use this multiple times. There's only a couple flaws that I'll point out as we get deeper into this kind of uh, video here. But uh, yeah, it's very easy to use, very very easy. It, it's very hot, swappable, meaning it's very plug and play. Um, there's no installation, no CD that comes with the product. Um, it's just an, an LED indicator that features that basically tells you about the power and the, and the hard, drive, hard, drive, hard drive activity rather when you have it in your unit and plugged into your computer. And, and again, it supports a 3.5 inch SATA 1 and 2 hard drive. Um, you can, the 3.5 inch is seen a lot on desktop computers. Actually, this hard drive that I'll be featuring um, was from an Acer um, desktop computer that, has, that had Windows 7 Home Edition on it. Right, so that's it for the box. I say you can put this to the side and I'll show you a little, little bit of comes with the unit. Obviously the first you're gonna see is the shell as we kind of just pointed out. Um, the shell as a, as a the, the middle portion here that my fingers are um, is aluminum which again helps with the cooling element. Um, the two sides are um, are plastic so again helps with, help again with the cooling on the unit itself you're gonna see the ports that you want the USB 2.0 the power port and then the uh, the power switch, which you will plug in once you have everything plugged in. I'll show you how to use this a little bit later on. Uh, very sleek, interesting design here. Um, it, you know, uh, next thing you want to you know, it comes with is of course the uh, power deck. Let's do this first. Are you, since a mess here, you're gonna plug this into the wall. It's a nice power brick, um, easily storable within the box. Um, you plug this with the unit. I'll show you this, as I kind of already did a little bit. Um, the next thing you're going to have is the USB 2.0 cord, which is right uh, here. Let me just bundle it up. There we go. There's right there. You can tell it's USB 2.0 because it's got the white um, endings, kind of brick ending there. Like I said, I think 2.0 is an efficient for what I have to do here. And it also comes with a packet of screws. Um, I believe it comes with six screws. There's only three in the three in the package. I have some already undone for this um, tutorial. But uh, yeah, 
and what you also need is a uh, is the a Phillips head screwdriver as well you know just for daily things when you put it into the unit itself and of course the owner's manual which um, those folds out just some background information on the unit as you can see Let's see here and very uh, very simple nothing too spectacular I think it believe it's only in English but again you can find the manuals online anywhere if you need more details right, and, and it also does come with a stand it makes them very sleek um, and very uh, you, can, you can put it upright into in a cab that maybe you're out in the open and looks very very modern very interesting one I think as well um, kind of a decoration kind of a decoration piece all right um, that's it for what comes with the product then let's uh, let's show you a little bit about the hard drive we're using. This hard drive we have here, um, let's see if I can stand it up, is a get a little bit closer. It is a Seagate Barracuda 160 gigabyte hard drive. Um, like I said, came off an Acer computer. Um, it's a SATA SATA computer. A lot of the Acers are a lot of a lot of uh, many many computers are SATA. But I would definitely recommend what kind of hard drive you have before you get a product like this for this particular um, product and particular hard drive you will see the a label and it will tell you the model number on there, on there. Um, and that you can you can also look it up with the specs of your computer and figure this out as well so definitely do that there is the uh, that's the hard drive I'll be using just so you guys know and it's, it's connected by the SATA um, data port and then the power power cord on both if you want you plug it out of the computer and want you plug it into this unit as well it's the same okay um, that's basically it for the introduction part of the portion of this video now I will show you guys how to use the unit alright as I said before many many times already in this video um, the middle portion is, is for the cooling and the uh, let's look around here actually and one slide portion one of these portions actually slides out um, which is closer to the next next star logo kind of right here uh, slides out to reveal the caddy which you'll be wanting to use so obviously you want to just give a little bit of pressure around the edges like so and you just do this and it slides out you want to slide it completely out slide it completely out like so and then um, you can move the move the um, closure the frame portion or the uh, body portion aside for a minute I will show you a little bit about this um, caddy it's a basic caddy if you look at it um, kind of like other things you would see on a, on a laptop external um, casing and enclosure um, it's got a metal frame which holds everything together and you, then you see the, the, uh, the SATA, data, SATA data and the power um, ports and buses and you also see kind of a motherboard looking thing you would see on, on the uh, hard drive itself and also a uh, a computer of any sort, which is any any computer. It's got also a the in the back there. It also has the power kind of input and supply to the unit, and also the, uh, the USB portion of this. And I'll show you how to do this. All right, so that's that. So nothing very nothing too spectacular, special. I'm gonna flip around, make it easier for me to see. Um, and basically, what you want to do to to attach the unit to the caddy. Um, it, you can think about this as train tracks. This is how I think of it. Um, you want to make sure that the the hard drive is lined up with the tracks that you will see on the caddy, which is right here, sort of. You can kind of see this, and uh, you just want to make sure things lined up. And it may take a minute or two to make sure you have it, and just slide it down the track, and give it a nice push, and you can kind of hear a click. You kind of realize it's in, it kind of a little bit of force, you'll, you'll notice this, and um, it's in. Um, and uh, next thing you want to do is then turn it over, and you will see your your screw holes on the bottom that holds the unit in place when you have it in the uh, in the casing. So you'll see one, two, three, four. You want to use your screws we have here. They are little ones that come in the bag, as I was saying. Um, they're gray grayish silverish um, they're I believe Phillips head screwdriver compatible and you want you want to have a mini um, Phillips head screwdriver available for this uh, for this project that I was saying before 
everything. So I will, uh, I will screw the unit in and screw everything in. I will be right back to save some time. All right, uh, so be right, right back. Okay, I am back from screwing in the uh, in the screws in the, in the bottom of the unit. So what you want to do is then just flip it over and inside the uh, the the casing here. But before I do this, I do want to mention. I know I didn't mention it before. This particular unit, this encasing will should work with Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows Vista. I'm not sure if it works with Windows 8 as yet. Have I've yet to test it, um, but um, and I think I believe it also work with Mac versions 10.5 and higher. I believe um, you might want to check this out on the Vantech website. I can put the link below. I will also look up some more information about them and put the link below. Okay, well uh, let's let's just put the uh, unit into the uh, into the casing here. So first thing first thing first when you look back into your unit um, to get ready to put the hard drive into the casing, you will notice this. Um, kind of wire I have sticking out here, and this is for the uh, this is the indicator. This is the this is kind of the power power supply for the indicators I was talking about that indicates activity to the hard drive and power to the hard drive, which I believe the uh, the the LED is right here um, on the unit, kind of in between here. It, you, it flashes blue when you have everything connected correctly. Um, so this is one thing you will want to. Uh, Make sure you have connected, and this is the one gripe I have about this unit so far. Looking at it and testing it once, um, this this particular cord is very flimsy, very difficult to uh, get attached to the unit. Um, but it, but it is it is possible. Just gonna play around with it. Hope it doesn't break. Just be very very careful with it. Okay, so um, you want you just want to push it to up. It's it's normally in this position, kind of stored away in the unit when you first open it. I I didn't show it before. But uh, in order to put the put the caddy in there correctly, you want to make sure it's it's out flat like so, and kind of sticking out. And uh, then you will want to just stick your um, caddy into the uh, there should be little guide guide uh, guide tracks here within the unit itself. So actually, and to get a good view, I like to put it um, closer to my body in order to get the view. So let me. Uh, Hold it like so. Um, but there, but there are guide tracks you want to follow. Um, they're very, they're, they're kind of difficult to see, especially the way you know I'm using. But uh, they're there. And this one, it kind of takes a minute or two. Play around for a minute. Take a minute. Um, also, what you want to do before you you all you when you when you finally get it in, like I, I know I have a little bit of trouble there, but um, when you finally get it on the track, you then want to make sure that you plug in this little LED um, indicator kind of um, white um, you know wire into the little three prongs. You will you will see with down this little with a little motherboard type of thing. And this actually does take a minute. Um, so I will again stop the video and come back and we will finish. Okay. Okay. Once you have everything connected, it's going to take some minute or two. Minute or two. So just be patient. Uh, it should look like this before you uh, before you connect it all the way. There's kind of a loop here. You will see it's not. I didn't put it completely in the way. You kind of have to stuff it um, within the uh, within the casing. Let's see. I'm gonna give it a minute or two. You don't want it to break, obviously, so just be careful with it. Okay. Get it out of and you should just be able to just stop it. And it's, kind of, it's a very flexible kind of wire. Um, like I said, just be careful with it. And uh, there we go. So you have your unit 
you know, just make sure everything's nice and tidy here, then you do this here. You always want to check it. Just make sure you didn't necessarily mess anything up. You know, it's a pain in the butt. And uh, okay, so once you double check it, like I like I just did, to be sure, um, your unit is inside the hard drive, or is inside, or your hard drive is inside the unit rather, and uh, you're ready to go in order to uh, to put to plug into the computer. So I will show you how to do this a little bit. Um, yeah, obviously, you're gonna want to look at this end. Like I said, it has the power supply and it has the uh, USB. 2.0 connection. So get your supplies out. So you can see here. Here's the USB. And here's the power. Um, like so. Like so. Just sum out for a second and kind of clear your workspace a little bit. Um, and simply, let's do the power first. It's a little bit harder to get in. Um, you just simply want to then just connect it on the back of the unit like that. There's your power. Connected, and here, here's your USB. You make sure you put it in the right way and whatnot, you know. And uh, yeah, it'll just it'll be a little snap when it goes in. Very simple use. So you have your two um, components connected. Um, what you want to do first is then plug your um, hard drive, or yeah, you plug your hard drive into the wall. In this case, it's behind me. So do this in a second. Then you also then want to plug your um, USB in your computer. As I said, um, I'm using a Windows 7 computer. It should be no problems. Um, it should work. Just give it a couple minutes depending on the size of your hard drive especially. Um, if, you, if your hard drive is full, it may take a while, but it should, um, as long as everything's connected properly, it should, you should see the indicator light, the blue indicator light telling you it's on. Actually, I will do this now. Let's see. Let's just show you the Go ahead and plug it in if you wish. Um, I will use this to check it as a tutorial. Um, like so. And you should be able to see, I know it's kind of bright with the bit with the uh, the camera, but you should be able to see the uh, the indicator light, right? Like so. And then if I were to uh, plug in the USB. You'll be able to then you hear you'll hear the uh, hear the ping and you recognize it. It should and it should work properly. So uh, best of luck to you guys um, figuring this out. If you need, if you have any questions on how to do this, please let me know. I'm here to help. Um, and you know, if, like once you get into the casing, it's it's fairly simple. This, this Vantech makes things very simple. They're very high tech, um, but yet simple brand that I trust. Um, as I said, I'll put the link below to this. This hard drive below, um, so this casing rather right below. Uh, I got it for about twenty dollars on Amazon, so very cheap. Uh, but it, it seems right now it's a good product, except for that one flaw, being the uh, being the indicator light wire. So that's about it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped you. Again, if you have questions, please feel free to ask me. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you like this video. Um, you know, please like if you please like if you like the video. Rather, please subscribe if it helped you. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye bye.